All right, guys, we'll do this video instead. I was just watching the Jubilee video. I was reacting to it. That's something that they're very into. Like, they have the whole reaction meta, whatever. That's, like, a big part of their growth. <laughs> I got DMCA'd, like, on my stream. Like, it, that's the weirdest thing that's ever happened, so I can't finish that video. So I guess we'll do this one. It's, uh, I guess... Um, she wanted, we actually reacted to her other video Hello. where it was like men deserve the male loneliness epidemic or men deserve to be lonely. Oh no, it was the other one. Men, the male loneliness epidemic. We watched that one. It was pretty good. Uh, so I guess we'll watch the response. I guess she got backlash. So men deserve to be lonely. Responding to backlash over the male loneliness epidemic. Where my last video, if you guys are unaware, my last video was the one I've been working on for a while called the male loneliness epidemic. If you haven't watched that video, please go watch it first before you watch this one. So this all makes a lot more sense. And then come back to this one. Link in the description. Now, although there was a lot of support it. for this video, there was also a lot of hate. A lot of hate. In fact, the most hate that I've probably ever received on a video ever. And if you're familiar with the content I make on. Oh, why? I mean, there is a male loneliness epidemic. I think there's an everybody loneliness, epi loneliness epidemic. I think everybody's lonelier. I think the social media generation is like kind of pushing people. It's connecting us in some ways and then, but it's not connecting us in like more phys. Why would I dismount there? Okay. More like physical ways. We're not getting as much physical connection as we used to. Um, yeah, I think that that's having a negative impact. I think both men and women are experiencing a problem. So yeah. This more. channel, that should be shocking. From angry fem cells calling me ugly to angry incels saying I'm a grifter who only wants to make money or something. Uh, Ridiculous. Same. So before we get into those extremely untrue criticisms, let's get into today's sponsor. <laughs> Today's sponsor is Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallets are high quality, yeah. minimalist wallets that can hold up to 12 cards, plus extra room for all that cash you don't have. Oh, I don't want, I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. want like a hard like wallet. I'd rather have a soft wallet. Um, yeah. I just feel like it's uncomfortable in my pants. Men are lacking purpose, and a man will crawl through a broken glass for a purpose. And there's a lot of truth to what you're saying there, and in, and in the whole thing. Matt Walsh responded, what the fuck? Video, which is worth watching. That video has uh, 1.5 million views in just the last week. Thanks, Matt Walsh. You're my greatest ally. My male loneliness video was the fastest growing video on my channel. Is that why the hate was coming from? Because Matt Walsh supported it? <laughs> date. And there is a reason for that. It resonated with a lot of people. I got hundreds and hundreds of comments. Every well, I think more than anything else, it was just trendy. It's, a, it's, a to it's the topic, which is Manosphere with Andrew Tate and everything going on. That's like the topic is the male loneliness and all that nonsense, right? But not nonsense, it's real, but like the manosphere shit's like dying. And so manosphere hatred uh, and to topic, stuff like that is kind of popping off, you know? Yeah, I feel, if you're feeling lonely, bro, you know, go go hit on a girl, you know, go 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 fail a few times. You gotta fail a couple times to get the, to be successful, baby. You know what I'm saying? So. Every single day by men venting in my comment section, feeling like for once they were being heard and that they were in a place Whoa. where they could talk. It was simultaneously the most heart- Sounds like Reddit. Cringe. <laughs> warming and heartbreaking thing I've ever seen. And this discussion blew up so much that it eventually reached TikTok. So apparently uh, there's a male loneliness epidemic right now. Uh, <laughs> is this the consequences of your own actions? <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just a bunch, like it's a bunch of just well, well it's, it's a bunch of overweight women complaining. You know what I mean? Like let's be honest here. Of course they're gonna be, you know, uh... and get recognized for the useless things that they are in society. And what do men do? Oh my God, I'm lonely. Is there a male loneliness epidemic right now, or are more and more women just progressively realizing that there's a lot better things to do in life than be stuck with a toxic, insecure man? I think that everybody's more lonely. That's it. <laughs> I think everybody's more lonely. That's all. That's I don't all. think we're in the middle of a male loneliness epidemic. We're in the middle of a mass female awakening. You're just reaching Whoa. the consequences of your of your terrible upbringing. Your own actions. Some men are lonely because. Why were you guys sleeping though? They're fucking creeps. They all deserve to be lonely. Every single one of them. This is their fault. Fuck them. It's men's loneliness epidemic that's going on. Um, that sounds like it really. It's a lot of low view videos, though. You can tell because there's like no likes on. Stop. Just wondering if they have considered uh, smiling more. Wow, that's a really fun true smile more guys the joke the joke there is like when a woman is uh frowning historically the guys will be like oh you should smile more beautiful yeah man listen i don't know why every time we try to advocate for one sex or gender uh some it, it always turns into a one, a one versus one it always turns into men versus women <laughs> 
You know, I think part of it is because that's how it's framed. Um, you know, so I think all movements go too far. Female advocation moving does go too far. Uh, and that's like, oh, it's a TikTok feminism where they're like, kill all men. And obviously it's stupid, but that's not representative of most feminism. So, but when it comes to male advocation, a lot of it is unfortunately on the backs of like anti-woman behavior. It really is. I mean, all manosphere is, is it's pretty much all anti-woman. It's not like, hey, let's let's build men up. It's like, let's, let's build men up to our level. Let's build men up to a proper level. It's like, let's break women down. That's really what it comes down to. It's usually very disrespectful to men. Um, and I think that's, and I, I don't, from what I remember of her video, it wasn't like that. I'm just saying. I shouldn't know what it Funny is. Funny joke. I've never heard that before. Have the men just tried smiling a little bit more? You know, I'd recommend smiling more. Have they tried smiling more? Have you thought about smiling more? Maybe they should smile more. Oh, Maybe they should try shit. to smile more. Have they this is what happened is like they all watched each other's videos they wanted to make the same joke that's what really happened here they tried smiling more that's awful have you tried masturbating more mm, have they tried smiling is this why people think women aren't funny yes. bleak now tiktok isn't the only place where this insanity happened the thumbnail of my video went viral on Twitter, which led to some of the most oh, funniest God, and unhinged that. reactions. So we are going to go through some of these and talk about them, as well as some of the angry comments I got from the manosphere. Let's jump into it. Male loneliness is not real and not valid. Men are lonely because they are terrible people. Why <laughs> the f should anyone have empathy for men? Men were- Wasn't well, that the whole thing? You're trying to tell men to be empathetic, so wouldn't it be good to be empathetic to men? Because that is part of feminism, telling men that they should be more empathetic, which I agree with, by the way. So it probably would help if, you know, <clears throat> you know. Born bad. Men are subhuman and their loneliness can't be cured because they can't relate to actual <laughs> human beings. Most men are born useless and are meant to die alone. Nah, yes. male suicide rate needs to be higher, actually. These men are 100% the most misogynistic demons on the- I mean, these are funny because I because when I'm on TikTok, I have a lot- My feed is a fucking- is detestable. It's fucking degenerate as shit. Um, and I see a bunch of stuff making fun of women. So, hey, fuck it, right? That's my thing, too. You know, listen, that's all. Yeah, it's kind of part of it, too. Online usually fucks with women. Now women are fucking with dudes. It's not right. But I mean, like, I, I'm not invested in, like, the noise of people like, oh, blah, 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 kill all men, blah, blah. Like, it's not real. It's, it's, it's such a small amount of it. All these people who are saying the same dumb joke over and over again um, that nobody, like, finds interesting or attractive, like, they, they, all of them, like, they're, they're pretty low views. It's basically the same as, like, the call-out people who will all make the same point and, and over and over again in their video. It's, like, it's just dumb. They're just like, oh, this person said this. I saw it on my page. Let's be a bunch of idiots. Like, they're comparable to people who use TikTok to date. I, I just, it's noise to me. I don't care, right? You know? If it starts becoming more than that, like, sure, I'll have an issue. But right now, it's really not. So I don't really care too much. Um... So, yeah. The planet and deserve every bit of loneliness they feel, lol. You don't understand the pleasure it gives me to see these men crying and depressed. Imagine losing in the world that is literally built for you. This is an insane question to ask, uh, considering women. how society continues to fail women and girls at every modern time. Women. It's crazy how men's well-being is considered a communal responsibility, but women's well-being isn't even considered. Oh, how delightful! A tweet from Earth 2! I'm so tired of the idea that we must have infinite empathy for men's loneliness while women are sexualized from fucking birth. We well, you don't have to have infinite. You could just be like, hey, that's, I feel you, dog. That's, <laughs> that's it. Just be like, yeah, that sucks, dude. <laughs> you know, I think that the only empathy that you need to have with the male own loneliness epidemic is to just be neutral. Like, it's not even like they're just like, oh, whatever, and ignoring it. They're actively needing to tell you that they, they don't think that your feelings as a man are valid. And it's like, that seems silly because is aren't you trying to tell us to express those feelings? <laughs> that's one of the problems. It's like, hey, men are like, hey, I'm feeling, I feel. Fuck your feelings. Okay. Kind of a confusing message to be a part of feminism, considering I thought feminism was supposed to be about men too. You know, so it's interesting. We are assaulted, harassed, raped, and killed for something we didn't choose Whoa. to be. But boo-hoo, the poor men and their inability to make friends. You know- Wait, is this woman dead? Holy fuck, is she a ghost? She's talking from the grave, holy fuck. Holy shit, she's talking from literally beyond the grave. She's dead? What? That's fucking crazy. How does she do it? Must just be an empath thing. Women are empaths. We can talk about multiple things at the same time, right? Also, it's deranged to Not say me. that society doesn't care about women's sexual assault. We have domestic violence shelters that we can go to. Men don't. Men being assaulted by women, men being raped is- Usually it's because the men are the ones that are causing this problem. But like, I do agree. It, society is- Well, I would say that society is caring more and more every day. Like the social conversation very heavily favors women. 
But that is because they, they are much more, you know, I would say generally oppressed. You know what I mean? <laughs> have they tried smiling? <laughs> That's what I have to say. Maybe it would help. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a wizard. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a genius or a wizard or anything. Oh, I died. It's all played off as a joke. When a little boy is molested by an older woman, it's seen as cool and hot. Society is sure. up all around. It's not a competition. It is not a zero-sum game. My video can exist alongside your advocacy for women's rights. As long as you're not saying- Yeah, I, I don't remember her video like shutting down women, so it's like, you know. Dumb f If you don't care about male advocacy, just don't engage in the competition. I will stay out of your way. I don't give a f about male loneliness. Like, bro, if you can't meet a girl, just dial up the queer homie and hook up like a normal person. God. That one's kind of based, actually. If you're lonely, fuck another dude is actually based as hell. God, if men are lonely on an epidemic scale, why don't they just cuddle and make out with each other? True, basically. Why don't they just befriend and date each other? Problem solved. This is actually kind of base. Because women will cuddle, even if they're not, like, fucking. This is weird. We should normalize men being kind of gay. Cuddle. I think it's cool. <laughs> I love this advice. Just be gay. Simply become gay. Yeah. Are you a lonely man? Are you a fucking loser? Be gay. <laughs> loser. Consider sucking dick. Tell me why I, as a queer woman, should take time out of my day to care about men and their issues. Quick. You don't have to, but you took time out of your day to tell us you didn't care. That's what's fucking cringe about it. You don't have to care. All you needed to do is not say anything, but you well, you were... Clearly, your day is, is valueless because you're sitting on fucking Twitter or Reddit. But if you're going to say, why should I take the time out of my day to care? <clears throat> you took the time out of your day to say that you don't care. You clearly have a, a, a problem. You're clearly a fucking weirdo. I'm not disabled. Why should I care about disabled people? Why talk about unions or uh, rights when I'm self-employed? If I only cared about causes that only affected me, uh, I wouldn't uh, even have a YouTube <laughs> channel. I mean, yes, you don't have to care. You don't have to care about everything. But it doesn't affect me, so why should I care is just a terrible reason not to it's care. There's no such thing as misandry, just women who have had bad experiences with men and have woken up. There's no such thing as racism, just white people who have had bad experiences with black people. What they would argue of the position of power. So let this isn't really the donkey. I I mean I agree you can be racist to whatever and you can be sexist to whatever. Um, but the point is is that this one doesn't really work because they would argue that the power of like well men are the oppressors so you can't be hateful to them or whatever and they do the same thing with the racisms. So that's you. That's what you sound like. Can't stand this sort of pathetic pity party. We live in a time of abject plenty compared to any other time in history. Yeah. Right, just tell it to women. Though. I stop being depressed. You have a bunch of cheap plastic shit from China. Line goes up world more gooder male loneliness epidemic and it's just them not being able to get laid like we really don't give a fuck. i love how this is always the go-to part of it is that some part of it is that men are having trouble getting laid i i really just i think it's that um men are failing at it and they're not trying hard enough i know that sounds weird but like the reality is, is you're gonna get rejected majority of the time that you hit on a girl so just like keep trying dog eventually you'll get some of that pussy i know what it's like to be thirsty I'm, ho I, dude, I, I am very horny. I have very high sex drive. I just wanted you to understand this. Okay. And like, so I, well, you know, when I would go through dry spells, I was sitting there, you know, uh, going fucking crazy. So I know what it's like to, to try to, to need to get some. But you just got to keep on keeping on, brother. You just have to keep on keeping on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. When it comes to this conversation, oh no, oh, the men aren't so getting laid. But if you like actually oh, no, talk to some of these this. guys, like even if you talk to some of these incels, the no, ones who like you. don't gay. hate women, they're gonna tell you that it's not really about sex. It's about companionship. It's about yeah, friendship. It's, it's about having sex. a girlfriend, a wife, a family. And a lot of these people were like, well, a lot of it starts with sex. All right, a lot of it starts with sex. Just something you know, because the ones that actually want like to be in relationships, usually a guy who wants to be in a relationship usually has an easier time finding a relationship. Most of the time, the problem is a lot of these guys want to fuck and they're little stinky little fucking asshole babies and they don't like actually take the time to get to know a girl and pretend that they care about them. They're not manipulative enough. You need to learn to be manipulative, but they're stupid and they don't know how to do it. Uh, but I think a lot of it is like young men that like, I, I want to fuck, that they, they want to empty their balls and you know, all that stuff. My advice shower dress nicely <clears throat> clean cut i'm not clean cut right now whatever and fill out your entire profile on tinder and and all those other apps because women will look at they actually will read that but i know as a man i don't you know what i mean so you'd be like i don't need to fill that out but they will read it so pretend to be interesting don't put up a picture of you in a fish that's also something that you may want to avoid so
you know, that's why we should just legalize sex work. And Peace. honestly, I don't think that's a solution. Maybe it's like a temporary one, but it's kind of like putting a band-aid on a broken leg. I don't think paying for meaningless sex with a stranger is going to solve the problem. In fact, it might make it worse oh, over yeah? time. Well, then I'm going to pay them to care. No, it probably would make it worse over time. I agree. Instead of male loneliness epidemic, call it a cis male unfuckability crisis. Oh, it's just like what I said in the video. They have to add cis now because they don't want to insult uh, trans men. Men suck. I hate them. Oh. Oh, n not you! <laughs> You're not a man, man. Yikes! Bruh, when they stop killing women, I'll stop generalizing them. Maybe I'll start worrying about their loneliness when they- I haven't even started yet, what the fuck? <laughs> That's the problem, like, you're grouping every man together as, like, they're all terrible people, you know what I mean? Uh, but you know what? Maybe we're just the worst. I don't really know. I don't care. Stop unaliving and raping children and women. Yeah, lonely guys, stop raping children, and maybe you won't be so lonely. Yes. What's all this hubbub about male loneliness? Y'all are acting like you're a- Not to be that guy, but I imagine the ones that are doing that to children probably aren't that lonely, which is horrible. What a terrible thing to say. But I'm feeling like it's the other guys, maybe, that are more lonely. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. You know? Guys, do you think EDP was just lonely? <laughs> so really got into like a weird spot. I've, I'm like, I feel like I've insulted myself. What is happening right now? Press when I've opened myself up to friendships and relationships with you just to get told I have sucking eyes. That is mm. hyper specific. No. I probably have. I mean, a lot of guys are trying to be friends with girls so they can fuck them. Like, I don't, I don't doubt this. All right. I don't know. It's kind of hard for guys and girls to be friends, in my opinion. You know, yeah. Not everyone is your ex-boyfriend. All of men's problems are created by themselves. How is it women's responsibility to fix them? Seriously, why is oh, it always shit. women's job to fix everything? Any chance True. to blame other women she seems to always take. LMAO, you are the problem. It's you. Hey, listen, you just pretend that, men are always, that you, women are the ones fixing all the problems. Meanwhile, I got to get up, I jump out of bed, and the second my wife sees a fucking spider on the wall. I gotta go. I gotta go downstairs into the basement where my wife is showering to kill a spider because she was too afraid of it. You're, oh, women fix all the problems. I don't know about that. I don't know if I agree with that one. You silly goose. You carrying water for the patriarchy and blaming women for men feeling lonely and radicalized. I find it repulsive anytime I see a woman like her do shit like this. It makes me actively turn violently against things that even I would originally think are nuanced topics. And also, yes. I feel like that's probably a uh, character flaw. <laughs> That might be, you might be struggling. Men are lonely. No, it's not up to women to fix that. F*** off, Nazi bitch. Things I don't even think it's really about women. You know what I think the funniest part about the male loneliness epidemic is? I think it's a, mostly a male issue. <laughs> like, I think it's mostly or men's... Like, I think, I think men don't care about men. I said this before, you know, when it comes to, like, being friends and being able to uh, open yourself up and express yourself more. I don't think that men are very good jobs of being friends with each other. I think women are a little bit better with that. And so that's part of it, too. Part of that epidemic, that, that, that part of it, Part of the situation, the solution, let me start actually articulating, is to just tell guys, like, hey, be a little nicer to each other. Ask how you doing. I blamed in the video. Technology, social media, dating apps, and the commodification of love. The media, low wages, the housing crisis, social alienation, lack uh -oh. of community, the left not speaking to men, the feeling of having no purpose. Things I didn't blame. Women! Now, this might come as a shock to you, but not everything has to do with women. Sometimes we can talk about other things. Sometimes those other things are not women. My video was about society as a Sorry, whole. And yes, good. that includes women. I never said it was women's responsibility. I think I mentioned women like once, and it was to say that women are also lonely, but that the media and society treats women's loneliness much differently than it treats men's loneliness. And yet thousands of tweets and comments about how I was apparently blaming women and how it's not women's fault. It's to the point where I'm like, is this projection? Do you think it is your fault? But again, my video was not about you. My video was about men. And if you want to listen to a video about women and women's problems, like I said in the original video, tune into literally anything else. Go to any college campus, turn on any TV show, watch a CIA ad. She's so embarrassing, made an entire career out of being a pick me. You didn't watch the video. And I'm not going to. Well, I didn't watch the video because I'd rather shoot myself than sit through a shoe video. Can someone take one for the team and watch this vid to get an answer? I'm sorry, but it was a 20 minute long video. I have ADHD and I know some of y'all- Oh yeah, well I have 90 HD, so. I'll do two, but I know you motherfuckers are watching five hour YouTube documentaries about shit like iCarly. I know you can take time out of your- Haha, <laughs> it's kind of based. Uh, very true. Busy schedule. Not me. From I don't care about iCarly. You know what I do want to watch, though? That Jeanette McCurdy video where she talks about um, her experience with Ariana Grande. Seems pretty interesting to Being me. Being the most miserable people on earth and watch a 20 minute long video. Here, does this help? 
Are you paying attention now? Oh, she doesn't shit. need to say it's I women's did. fault for us to know exactly what she means. This is like bordering yes. on schizophrenia. Uh, yeah, she didn't say it, but we all know she did. This is why I advocate for mental health care to be free. We need to get these bitches some therapy. Male loneliness this, male loneliness that. Do you know how isolating it feels to almost never be able to develop genuine friendships with men because they see you as nothing more than an object for sexual conquest? I no, I don't, it probably isn't that isolating at all. You're probably just complaining. I'm sure you have plenty of friends. I'm sure you're not, like, stressing out because guys won't be friends with me. Okay. <laughs> like, stop. <laughs> That's not good. I'm going to tell you something not many people probably have told you in your life. It's not about you. I get that the friend zone is a very frustrating thing to deal with. Trust me, I know. Nothing worse than enjoying being friends with a guy, but not having a romantic attraction and having to cut him off because you don't want to lead him on or hurt him. It sucks being girlfriend zoned. But coming into this conversation, basically like, woe is me, so many people want to me is a little insane. Like, maybe if this discourse was about the friend that. zone, this would make sense. But this is like barging into a conversation full of starving people and being like, I ate too much chicken tendies, you guys. My tummy hurts. Like, get out of here. Yeah. Women got sick of men creating a society where women were second class citizens, so now men are facing loneliness. Yeah, this is payback to you for not letting women vote decades ago. You personally. Men failed themselves. They built a whole system for their benefit, and in the moment it starts to crumble because the. This is just not true. Men didn't build a system for their benefit. Men definitely disproportionately benefit from the system. Let's not, let's not be too bashful about it. Of course, that's true. But like it, it was rich people who created the system. Rich men who created a system that was beneficial. Oh no, that was beneficial to them. So, what are you, what are you blabbering about? Press class they've always subjected women is waking up. They start to put the blame on us, cowards and dangerous misogynists. And then also, I'm 33, bro. I I didn't make any laws yet. You know what I mean? I haven't done anything. You gotta stop. You gotta stop generalizing men. You know what I mean? So first of all, nobody's putting the blame on you. Nobody did that. I didn't do that. You made that up in your heads. And second of all, this system wasn't created for the average man. It was created for the rich and powerful. It benefits the rich and powerful. They have their boots on our necks, and the handmaidens are like, "Oh no, they look kind of sad." I'm sorry. Who has their boot on your neck? All men. You know who has their boot on your neck? The satanic pet oh. in charge of our government. The soulless demonic corporations Relax. that would throw your mother into a wood chipper if it made them make an extra penny. That's who has the boot on your neck. Not Joe Schmo working two jobs so he doesn't get evicted. Here's some male loneliness discourse for you. Do you ever at all, even for a second, consider the problem is you? That maybe, just maybe, the reason- Part of the problem probably is them. Sure. Well, like- Sometimes it feels good to be heard. I think it's it's so funny because that's a very woman thing. Women will always ask, uh, will always be like, I want to talk to you about something. Like, my wife will always want to ask me. And if I give her any advice, she'll have a fucking, she'll get upset with me sometimes. Sometimes she'll get, like, if I try to correct or just come up with a solution. I think that's a very woman thing to want advice that's like, or really just not want advice. Just want to, like, vent you know, as a, as a processing metric so that they can create, you know, their own solution, which I think is fine. And so, like, what if they, what if men just need that? What if men just need to hear, like, yeah, sure. Um, that's it. What if that's it? What if it's just that? Then you're lonely is that you are an awful human being, truly just awful, and that it's right that you are lonely? Probably not it's awful fair. I mean, yeah, probably. they probably do consider that. Uh, the suicide rate doesn't lie. Maybe if some men weren't bigots. The solution to male Ooh, loneliness- that's an, that, uh, that's an impossible challenge, let's be real. Guys love racism. I mean, let's be real. You know, the most racist men are the men with friends of another race. Because <laughs> they're always fucking saying wild shit to each other. It's kind of true. It's kind of true. This is literally just being a better person. I love that the implication here uh, is that lonely people are bad people. Hard. Every lonely man is just a bigot and a racist and an true, Andrew Tate fan. I guess it makes it easier for them to like not care about this if they paint these people as the enemy. Bitch. If you dehumanize the enemy, it makes it easier to sleep at night, I suppose. Now, I started noticing a reoccurring pattern. You know what's helped me sleep at night? I, have, I stopped drinking caffeinated soda after like 6 p.m. I know that sounds silly, but it helped a lot. It helped a lot. Because, you know, drinking too much caffeine, I would stay awake. I couldn't go sleepy times. Couldn't go sleepy time bed by. You know? So, something to think about. 
with a lot of these accounts. A lot of these accounts getting mad about or like dismissing the male loneliness discourse. Many of them have OnlyFans. This is relevant, this is relevant because like out of everyone on earth, why would those people be so mad about someone wanting to solve or at least bring attention to the male loneliness epidemic? This is like a crack dealer getting mad at people talking about crack addiction. This is your opinion and this is where it belongs. Have a good day. I could say that, okay? I'm a YouTuber. That's far more degrading than being an OnlyFans model. Her face looks like she's pandering to pals. That makeup style is so catered. What the hell? What does that mean? Uh, Dennis Fatoza enters the chat. What the hell does that fucking mean, dude? They're actively trying to make themselves look like kids. I I'm confused. Yes. Children. Notorious for wearing big fake eyelashes and 10 pounds of eyeliner. What? Can't stand this bitch in her yeah, aren't, what do they call those? What are the English girls that are like, oh wait, and they uh, and then they wear a lot of the stuff, like the the they wear a lot of tanning makeup, whatever it's called. So, Your side part, <laughs> bitches with this True. makeup style piss me the f off. They always yeah. wear that type of makeup. She's trying to look like an Asian woman. I th I think that's a thing. She's trying to look like an otaku. What do you think about that word? At her makeup, I already know the type of person she is. You can just tell She's by her makeup. Us. Not to be rude, but that Jabs? makeup tells that everything I need to know. Her makeup says everything I need to know. This yeah. is literal NPC behavior. Not watching the video, blindly spewing the exact same insults. Just, I have no argument and I must scream. They don't even know why they're bad. They just saw a woman in the thumbnail of a video about men and their brains just broke. Her makeup doesn't look like ours. Her hair is styled differently than ours. Should I be like extra cute in this thumbnail? <laughs> Would that piss them off? I'm not like other girls. Why do we hate her? I fucking hate this video now. I really hate that shit. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it triggers the fuck out of me. I'm actually triggered. I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't like that. Again? Okay. Guys, why do we hate this person again? Can't form my own opinion, help. Why do we hate her? Why do all incel adjacent women look like this? When you're a woman uh, talking uh, about men's us? issues online and they can't outright call you an I gotta stop with like the Among Us thing. It's just such a weird thing. I'd start, like, I, that's my current like uh, fixation is to just keep saying Among Us and like Among Us balls. It's, I gotta stop. It's just fucking irritating me. Incel, they just call you incel adjacent, I guess. And when they're not calling you incel adjacent, they're breaking out. That means next to. Out. All reliable. Pick me. Pick me behavior. Pick me girls are so... CEO of pick me. High priestess of pick me church. So I am the CEO of pick me and the high priestess. Maybe this video will boost... Sounds like a very important position. Boost me to pick me goddess. Watch out, Pearl. <laughs> Is I'm... that being kawaii phobic? Based, yeah. I'm coming for your title. Now, I've already talked about the pick me insult in other videos, but it's just... I'm coming for your Among Us balls. So lazy, man. I'm so tired of it. <laughs> I've been hearing it for up, over okay. a decade now. And yes, there are people who absolutely do fit the definition of a pick me from both genders. Men who talk about how much they hate men, women who talk about how much they hate women. But I don't hate women. My mom is a woman. My sister is a woman. My friends are women. I am a woman. I That's what makes me hate women. Just Can't be women phobic. I have women. It was weird. I, I went to a, a barbecue with my mom uh, or, you know, it's, I think I said this in like another segment, but I went with my wife and my mother-in-law and my mother and blah, blah, blah. And, um, it was just, I was the only dude there. Interesting. I, th I, th I thought about it for a second. And I was like, wow, I'm the only guy here. That's kind of weird. No dudes to talk to, which is fine. Because I didn't really talk to anybody, to be honest with you. Wanted to be left alone. But in friends. But the insult is just so beyond overused nowadays. Every woman who doesn't tow the current line is a pick me. It's just a way to socially ostracize other women. To make you fall in line and agree with their opinions. But it's not going to work here because I am socially retarded and borderline ah, autistic. Ah, so you have ah, no power here. You can't ah, tell me what to believe. You can't change my opinion. Ah, You're not my boyfriend. I hope this bitch fails to wake up in the morning. Her terrorism- That's terrible. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy moly. Still hasn't stopped. Oh my God. She's still relevant? She should have went down with her anti-feminism shtick a few years ago. Yeah, I thought true. she would have fell off by now. If you want to know how I didn't fall off, if you want to know how I'm still relevant after 10 years, Look in a f***ing mirror. You stop being cringe, I stop being relevant. Deal? Fun fact, she reached out to incel accounts for help with this video. No, I'm not kidding. Well, yeah, it's- What does that mean? What does reaching out to an incel account mean exactly? Good to go to the source and talk to the people who have experience with uh. the subject I'm talking about. I'm not lonely and I'm not a man, despite what the mainstream media may say. I do not, in fact, have a penis. Do not put in the paper that I have uh, a- Men don't need penises. Transphobe. 
Okay. Penis. We scour the internet for a weird video to show you, and the other day we came across this, the weirdest we've seen in a while. The problem is Shu just affirms them instead of converting them. Converting them to what? This is exactly the thing I talked about in my video. These people don't want to actually help men. They just want to recruit them into their little political tribe. Would it be cool if everyone agreed with me politically? I was gonna say yes, but honestly, that would be a little horrifying. That would be a very scary world. My goal wasn't to convert men to agree with me politically. My goal was just to bring attention to this issue and put a spotlight on it. It is cool when people tell me, oh, you've changed my mind on this, you've changed my mind on that. I love that. I love to see that. I was unaware that was my job. My job is to get on YouTube and say poo poo pee pee and everyone go ha 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 ha, ha and give That's me money but in this case it was for me to go hey the, the men are not okay and for people to go damn that sucks and give me money prager you is sharing she one heads video now explain to me how she's still a leftist i personally I think it's interesting when somebody else like why does it matter who's i, I mean i understand that they i guess they'll kind of co-opt the video but for you to be a fuck like, just shut up like who cares you know what i mean just who cares I really think it's a good thing when people agree on good things. There should be more people agreeing on good things, quite frankly. I feel like a lot of good things would be done in this country if more people agreed on good things. I, and I don't know, I, th I think it's pretty neat that this might be the first and last time a oh, video that talks about alienation under ah, capitalism and ah. says the term material conditions will be shown to a massive right-wing audience <laughs> like Prager you. But hey, don't worry your little heart. This, this will never happen to a left-wing YouTuber you watch. The internet no. feminists weren't the only ones booty blasted about my video. I also rustled the jimmies of some in the manosphere. You just want more OnlyFans subscribers. You don't care Ooh. about male loneliness. Does she have an OnlyFans? Like, what the fuck? She's actually a man dressed as a woman. That's why she or he is there speaking about ah, men's issues. Very Fellas, true. protect your sanity, your seed, and your wallet in these current times. These true. women are shapeshifters. <laughs> this chick is gonna hit the wall in 10 years. That That'd be cool if my wife was a shapeshifter, you know what I mean? Because then, you know, you could get a little bit of everything. Maybe, you know, you could get another woman, maybe a dog. Nah, that's not what I said, but... But my wife is kind of a shapeshifter, not like a physical shapeshifter, just like an emotional shapeshifter. She, I, you know, I don't know who the fuck's coming home when she leaves. I get my beautiful, amazing, loving, supportive wife when she leaves, and by the time she gets hold, I, I, I got a grumpy fucking dementor from Harry Potter. So. That's why she cares about male loneliness. She sees many cats in her future. They want us back on the plantation, gentlemen. Hold the line. I don't really understand what the conspiracy here in general is though. Like, like I'm just talking about a subject I found important and interesting, like I've been doing on what? this channel. And these guys I'm are like, stay this. strong brothers. Don't give in to temptation. Why are we listening to women about male loneliness? Plenty True. of male figures discussing this. True, good point. <laughs> Don't support women. I agree. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna say it. SJW uh, behavior. Liberal behavior. Woman behavior. To imply that I shouldn't speak or be listened to about a subject because I'm not the correct gender. Anyone can talk about anything they want. That's free speech, bit. You don't have to listen. Uh, you can make- I'd rather pay for it. Your own video talking about the subject, Mr. Man. But you know they're just gonna call you sexist and misogynist, so you might as well just- Use me as a human shield. It's not that she's a woman or cares. She's the kind of person who will only talk about an issue because it's popular. Women suddenly want to help men. True. I mean, yeah, right. The, the, but like women suddenly want to help men, but only because it benefits their cause. I mean, like th the only reason women got to vote was because men felt like they could get their vote. I don't know. What you're I guess that's how people generally work. And she makes YouTube videos as a popular topic. Like, whatever. Okay. I, I just don't care. But, okay. But only because it benefits them and their causes. Well, now not only are conservative women talking about it, but also the left. This is the problem the left. with the women oh, true. that decide to come forward and speak about men's issues. This is the problem with the women who decide to come. Why are they so entitled? Why do they need to come? Ridiculous. They don't care about men's issues. You must ask the question. Yeah. Now that they're coming around and talking about men's issues, is it to help men or to win men into the Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you, dog. I wouldn't choose the headphones over the head with bald head. Because those those things that he's got on leave an indent in your head. And I just I would try to I, if you don't have the hair for it, I wouldn't I would personally would I would advocate against it. I would recommend against it. I think that's a better way to say it. So you know their cause so first of all let me just clear something up because some of you seem a bit 
confused. I started talking about these subjects 10 years ago, way back before it was popular yeah. to do so. Back when I was so doxxed, harassed, had Yo. angry feminists calling my job and trying to get me fired. Oh. Was it was it was it rational level headed or was it a bunch of fucking screeching? That's <laughs> probably what it was, but that's, that's, hey, people grow up. For mocking pop feminism and talking about men's issues. And a lot of these people men's coming winners. at me now, telling me I'm jumping on a bandwagon, started like two or three years ago, when it was safe to do so. So with all due respect, sir. Stay out of my territory. But in full seriousness, it is good when more people talk about this subject. I'm glad you talk about this. I'm glad there are people like the honey badgers who have been talking about this stuff for a very long time. This girl is a fake who- The fuck is a honey badger? Well, it's an ad, okay, whatever. Wants every man to be a castrated beta male feminist commie True. like her boyfriend probably True. is. She takes advantage of men like this. Oh no, Dude. don't tell her, don't tell anybody that she's a boyfriend or the guys are gonna stop liking her. Ah. Do not listen to her. Lefty women want to help men, help men become good feminists who devote their lives to helping women have all the power so they can make men their servants. True. Basically, we need to help men destroy uh -huh. men. That's the only way men should be helped. We women said so. Shoe on head. That's base, I guess. Real quote, never trust a woman, even <laughs> if they are saying the truth. <laughs> That's a fucking base as shit. Oh, yes. I gotta stop using the word base, but that is good advice. Never trust a woman, even if they're telling the truth. I agree. So weird how, like, they need to convince themselves that even when a woman is showing empathy and, like, caring about this subject, that she's just, like, a but lying snake in the grass. That's Literally just a mirror is. universe of these That's fem cells. It's mommy and daddy issues all the way down. Ladies, be a good mom to your sons. Fellas, be a good dad to your daughters. Try to prevent creating the most insufferable, annoying people on earth, please. I don't know if it's because I grew up with a good relationship with both of my parents or what, but this gender war shit is just so toxic, man. Men and women need each other, you know? We're yin and yang, and the yin and yang is being torn apart by miserable people. Miserable people who want to make you miserable as well. One of the most valid criticisms I got about this video was that I didn't offer any solutions. And honestly, that's, fair. that's because I don't have any. I wanted to talk about the problem. You know, men, just smile a little more, you know? But I don't know how to solve it. A lot of YouTubers and streamers and talking heads will get up on their platform and like pretend they know the answers to everything. I know the answers, okay? Make yourself more presentable. Learn to fail. This is a real answer because sometimes you'll you'll message one girl, oh, she said no, I'm upset. Bro, sometimes it takes, you know, you go through so many different people that are going to tell you no, it's so fucking annoying. But hey, you just got to do it. You know, try to get yourself put together a little bit. Um, try not to be too desperate. You know, um, care about the women that you talk to, you know, you, you know, if you're going to be a fuck boy, you can't let them know that you're just trying to get that, that snooch, <sighs> you know, I would, I would, I would probably rephrase that as like, you shouldn't just be looking for casual sex. Try to always look for, be open to a relationship, even if it's not your number one thing, try to be a more, uh, try to be a little bit more, have a little more depth than just trying to fuck the girl. You know what I mean? Clean your ween. Don't send unsolicited dick pics. You know, be patient when it comes to sex stuff. Be sexually attentive so that when you do finally score on a girl, she's going to want to keep doing it with you. It's a big one, too. Because, um, you know, sometimes guys will, you know... Because if you're smart about it, you know, let's say you talk to a couple of different girls, and yada yada, it doesn't really work out for a little while. And then all of a sudden, you get one girl, and you're like, cool. And so you get that girl... And, you know, you hang out with her and if she wants to keep fucking you because you're good in bed, and that gives you more time to find other girls to fuck while you're talking to her, right? <laughs> so this way you're, you're not, you don't have to feel as desperate because you're, you're, you're kind of, you're getting it out. You're getting uh, your energy out. I think that's good advice, right? Uh, wear a condom all the time. Don't pressure women to not wear them. It makes them uncomfortable. Um, buy a VR headset because that shit, that shit is, it's almost real, dude. It's, cr <laughs> it's fucking crazy, dude. It's crazy, man. Uh, what other advice can I give you? Uh, well, clean your ass better, I think is a good advice, a bit of advice. I think it's a good bit of advice to clean your booty hole. Tregan Films. Hey, what's up, Tregan? $19.99. New epic papa gut content. Thank you, brother. <laughs> this is quite epic. I'm making a Mr. Gut parody. Very I'll good. send it when it's done. Okay. Hope life is going well. Cool face.
Fisk. <laughs> yeah, man. I hope these things are going well for you too. I'm nervous. Whatever the fuck you're gonna send me, brother. I'm nervous, but I, I'm I'm excited at the same time. So it sounds good, man. Truth is. I don't. I just think that it's a That's step scary. in the right direction to be like, hey, men, you're struggling, but you're not a bad person. You matter. And if I could snap my fingers and cure this, I absolutely would. But at the end of the day, men are men. And man problems require man solutions. And that solution, of course, is giving me money. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm reading the comments on that video all the time, and I will read the comments on this video as well. If you I, I do my best to not read comments on any video, to be absolutely honest with you. I just don't. I try not to care too much. Because, uh, you know, <laughs> I, re I read the stream chat, though. So if you ever wanted to come and express something to me, you're better off coming into the stream. <laughs> Just letting you know. See some people talking about their experiences. Too much, too much, uh, burns you out too much if you read comments all the time. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, Jesus and venting about their issues and their problems in the comments. Reply to them, support them, join in on the discourse. The shoe on head community is a very diverse community. She's asking Not like you to read it. <laughs> like, race-wise i'm pretty sure you're all fucking white but like <laughs> like politically diverse but we can all come together to talk about the issues that matter and i think that's i think that's really cool and I, we love to see it and i will see you in the next video Bye. oh when i can just ah, all right cool video